Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we have missing Clyde Daniel Stewart from Cartersville, Georgia. Uh, he went missing March 31st, 2005, 6 foot 1, 32 years old, 175 pounds, nicknamed Cowboy. Um, he was last seen about 5.30 p.m. when a family member dropped him off at a friend's in the vicinity of the 700 block of Shady Brook Drive in Marietta, Georgia. He left with a friend in her vehicle and was last seen exiting the vehicle at exit 290 and Highway 20 in Cartersville, Georgia. Clyde does have a medical condition. Strawberry blonde hair, blue eyes, tattoos mom with a heart on right arm, rebel flag with gold noose and 13 knots on left arm, grim reaper with two flags and the name cowboy in the middle of the chest across on right or left leg. He was wearing a long sleeve blue jean shirt, size medium, black Levi Strauss jeans, size 32 by 34, black cowboy hat with a silver rim, long black trench coat, white underwear, white socks, black billfold, carried a green nylon duffel bag with black straps and a rebel flag towel, I would think. There's no L, but black cowboy boots. I couldn't find anybody that fit his description anywhere um and there is a picture of him we can zoom in on that real quick if you have any information about what might have happened to him please contact authorities it's strange that he just disappeared okay and then there's some other strange coincidences as well okay so he was born may 10th 1972 this says he was six foot to six foot two um gives the same information he lived in Ackworth, Georgia. That's interesting. Okay, so here we have a John Doe found in Cartersville, Georgia. February 13, 2005. This is a month and a half before he went missing. Okay, the strange thing is that a month and a half before he went missing... There's only two John Does and one missing person in Cartersville. So we have one missing person, and the one of the John Does was found less than 10 minutes away from where he went missing. Um, this John Doe is only, he's too short to be him. He's 5'2", 129 pounds. He looks like he says multiple races. Um, estimated PMI was just 37 minutes. Died of sepsis while riding in a truck on I-75 near 283 in Bartow County. I-75-283 versus... He was at... Where is it? He was at... 290 highway 20 highway 20 exit 290 highway 20 exit 290 and highway 75 283 and to me if you're going to marietta you would be taking probably 41 or 75 so the john doe was found on 75 283 right here right right here Right in between where that guy went, went, went and went missing at was that John Doe was found a month and a half before that guy went missing. Right there, right in the 10 minutes away, right there on that pretty much the same little stretch right there road. And in between where that guy went and went missing at was the John Doe. Because here's the exit 283, you can see it right here. And this is exit 290 from 20. You can see how close they are together. That is strange, isn't it? No idea what happened to Clyde Stewart. And no idea who that John Doe was. That is just a strange coincidence, isn't it? And then I went to look for other John Does to be... Clyde Stewart. I couldn't really find anybody. There was a man found all the way in Ruskin, Florida. That's just too far away. January 2nd, 2006. 
Estimated age is 30 to 50. He was 32. Estimated PMI years. Height, 6 foot tall. Uh, resident found bones brought to yard by his pet from an unknown location. You can pause that and read it if you want to. And eyeglasses, left foot with deformity, healed fractures. I don't know what happened to his foot. Another man was found in D-Land, Florida, January 8, 2006. Estimated age anywhere from 25 to 65 years old, about 6 foot 1. How tall was he? Uh, 6 foot 1. And uh, remains discovered by hunters. There was a gunshot wound. He had a purple Thrive nylon backpack, pistol, radio shack, portable alarm clock, old spice deodorant, and some other things. You can pause it and read it if you want to. So the age is over 25 years, and the height is 5'9 to 6'6. Partial skills and parts only. So, if you have any information about what might have happened to Clyde Daniel Stewart, please contact authorities and let them know. It's been almost 20 years. They're going to need any information they could possibly get. Even if you feel like it's hearsay, you're not testifying in a court of law. You're just helping them to solve a case and letting them know so they can decide what's relevant, what's important themselves let them decide that and please don't forget to pray for his family and his loved ones who have no idea what happened to him they don't have any closure they can't even scatter his ashes or anything so please pray for them and feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day bye bye